All right, Ed Duffy's World Tonight talks with the editor of the new journal extolling the virtues of the world's greatest consulting detective. My assignment was to meet a stranger who goes by the name of Steve Doyle, a man of most singular demeanor. Through simple observation, I quickly deduced he currently resides in Bloomington, as evidenced by the red in his tie. He obviously works for the IU Med School, since the smudges on his shoes contain dirt that is only found in the university hospital parking lot. A quick study of his face exhibited a remarkably keen intelligence behind his wire-rimmed spectacles, which can only mean he works in television, to wit the medical school's educational television department. And it was also obvious he is 27 years old, since the last button on his sweater was open, as is the custom of Hoosier males born in 1960. What I was surprised to learn upon becoming acquainted with Mr. Doyle is that he is a Sherlock Holmes buff. His passion for the world's greatest consulting detective, compelling him to launch a quarterly publication called the Sherlock Holmes Review, full of penetrating articles from Sherlockian scholars who are not in short supply. It's kind of a this network of of fans and followers across the country. And once the word gets out, uh, it's surprising. They, they begin to contribute. Now, 1987 is a banner year for practicing Sherlockians, for it marks the 100th anniversary of when Sir Arthur Conan Doyle first introduced Mr. Holmes and his companion and chronicler, Dr. James Watson, in print. His serialized stories in the Strand Magazine in England and Collier's in this country, an instant hit, with Sherlock's popularity never waned through four novels and 56 short stories, a character so vivid that Sherlockians choose to believe that he indeed exists. He's really the only literary fictional character who, as time passes, has become, to the public, more real than his creator. So how does one account for Sherlock Holmes' amazing century-long appeal? There's something comforting in knowing that there's someone you can turn to when you're totally baffled, who can make sense of what, what the problem is. And does Steve Doyle, no relation to Sir Arthur, see any detective on the horizon that will ever rival Sherlock Holmes? There's been a lot of detectives uh, in the Sherlock Holmes mode since then. Some of them are truly good, uh, but I, I just can't see anybody ever rivaling Sherlock Holmes. And Mr. Doyle will do his part in his new quarterly to ensure Mr. Holmes continues to receive his just due as the world's greatest consulting detective and a source of greatest comfort to us all. Reed Duffy, Channel 6 News. And I hope that Dr. Watson gets his due in that publication, too, because Holmes was always perfect, but Watson was a little more human. <laughs> a good combination. Yeah. That's our report.